Okay, guys, so Fronius Inverter, let's have a look at that in 2022. So the Fronius Inverter that um, we sell and still sell and have sold since it came out in around 2015 or 16, it's been around a long time. This model is old. Uh, but the reason is it's so good, it's so reliable, and it does the job. It was uh, cutting-edge technology back then, and compared to the cheaper Chinese inverters today, it still is better. Yeah, it is a premium inverter, and uh, it should be called that, and um, we respect the great Fronius. Uh, I've personally been to the Fronius factory myself over in Austria, comparing that to a Chinese inverter factory, which I've also been at a couple. Uh, Fronius, inver the inverter factory, well, yeah, it is a lot better. We can say it is a lot better. You can tell they're made in German, in, in Austria. Uh, a lot of time goes into making an inverter too over there compared to where they're just banged out in China. Um Chinese ones are unfortunately are very uh, reliable these days. So back when the Fronius came out, the Chinese weren't known of making a reliable inverter, uh, which is now why we're seeing 90% of our sales now just being the, the cheaper inverters uh, because they unfortunately they work so good. But for those still wanting a premium inverter, still wanting something made in Europe, um, Fronius is your inverter few things about it, it does have a bit of a noisy because um, it, it's uh, cooled by it. It is a bit noisy, so it's cooled differently to the cheaper inverters. Cheaper ones just have a heat sink. That's all they do. They sit there and they just cool down by the big massive heat sink on the back, whereas the Fronius one actually has this thing, technology active cooling with with a fan, a few fans in it. I believe they got three in them. And when they start to crank up to around 90, 100% of um, – what they can generate it does start to get a bit noisy i personally have one um i have an 8.2 kilowatt single phase inverter and that was all i could really get at the time um so like i said they've always been at the at the front of the of the technology uh as you would expect um but yeah unfortunately for them the chinese have caught up a bit and they not as much they've caught up. They've just made a good, reliable inverter that's cheap. Fronius inverter um, is reliable too. And if you want to continue to get a European inverter, um, we definitely don't recommend against the Fronius. And it's our favorite European-made inverter at Queensland Solar and Lining.